Hi, I'm Laura Evans from the University of California at Irvine. We're here at the 24th Annual APS Conference in Chicago, Illinois. Hello, my name is Becky Nichols. I'm also at the University of California, Irvine. And today, Laura and I would like to present our research using a classic false memory paradigm, the Deese-Rodiger McDermott paradigm. In this paradigm, uh, participants memorize lists of semantically related items. And then at tests, they're tested for their memory for those items, as well as critical items that were not presented. We're really interested in those critical items at tests because they represent false memories at tests. Now, in our research, we have both lab data and online data using the exact same DRM paradigm. And what we have found is that at tests, in the online data, subjects actually do report having seen fewer studied items, so there's lower overall veritable memory. They also report a slightly lower proportion of critical items. However, sort of the most interesting information about this is that we see almost twice as many um, reports of distractor items for which there's really no theoretical reason that they should be endorsing them in the first place. So we really believe that when we administer the DRM online, our subjects are getting distracted, they're at home, they're at an environment where they're not paying as close of attention. And so we like to think that our research can offer somewhat of a warning for conducting different types of research online. Thank you very much.